Tribute Super Hits 106, as promised. Uh, joining me on the phone is John Edward. John, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Thanks for being here. It's uh, nice to talk to you. I've uh, watched your career, uh, I guess almost from the beginning, the TV show, the books, and all of the other things you've been involved in. An amazing, amazing career. I've got a couple of questions for you. I'm just curious, John, the gift that you have, are you able to, to turn it on and off? A hundred percent. So the first thing I always tell people is that it's it's more of an ability than a gift. I say that the gift is the connection. The ability is what I use to make that connection. And after 32 years of doing this, because it's been that long, three decades, you have to learn that there's a time and place to be able to do it. And living your everyday life is not always the time and place to do it. So when I'm going to be doing my work, I kind of meditate and prepare and pray and open myself up to make the connections. And when I'm done, I power myself down. And that's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. And unfortunately, that in the last decade, there's been a ton of uh, television programs that kind of explore the supernatural and kind of celebrate it in a different kind of way where they, you know, I think TV always wants to kind of take what's been done before and make it different, make it bigger, try to find out what the next big idea is. And they kind of, you know, look at it from a different perspective. And when you have people who are TV producers kind of producing a subject matter, that they're not really familiar with, and it's their perspective of what it should be. So I think that we're, we're in a different place. So I like to always kind of let people know, like, I'm not walking around 24-7 making connections with Grandma. I think we both know who we're talking about without without mentioning any names, but I, I often wondered if if the connections were coming at you all the time. Well, I think, listen, I think it's it's not it's not just one person. It's not just one show. It's like I'm bombarded by, there are a lot of, you know, I want to say new mediums that over the last decade are... Their, their abilities are being activated, and that's what they're watching on TV. So then they think it's okay to, like, uh, you know, approach somebody at Walgreens or Kmart or Target or Costco and attack them, and, it, and it's, it's not. You know, I have a colleague, her name is Shar Margolis, and Shar does a lot of man-on-the-street readings. So she'll be taken out by a news crew and be, like, you know, in the downtown square of, you know, anywhere USA, and she'll do live readings, like, literally on the news. And... The thing about that is those people that are walking up to, to do that, they know that they're doing that. And I think in some of the shows, the people that seemingly are being read, they're, that somebody's walking up to them, you know, the Long Island Medium or whatever the shows are on there, that when that's taking place, I think all those people pretty much probably know that they're going to have the opportunity because this is going to take place on some level. You know, it's not as uh, or organic. Now, does that mean that that medium or a medium can't walk around in their everyday life and doing that? Yeah, they could. I'm here to say 32 years later, it's not ethical. I'm here to outright say it. It's not okay to accost somebody in any shape, way, or form because you don't know where they're at on their journey of grief. You don't know how that's going to affect them. And your positive intentions to be able to potentially help them could actually do more damage. You know, that's one of the things I often thought about is that, um, gosh, it, it just seems, you know, if, I'm, if I buy a ticket and come to your show, I know what to expect. But when I'm buying a sandwich, I don't really expect that kind of thing to happen to me. And I often wondered about that. John, do you think that your ability, as you call it, is, is there in everybody? I do. I think everybody has the ability. Like, like right now, anybody listening to this could look at, you know, their arms and say they have biceps. But it doesn't mean that those people are going to be bodybuilders. But it does mean that those people have the ability to, you know, work out at a gym and get stronger. So I think if, if you have a pre-genetic disposition and you work out, you're going to get strong and big and, and maybe you'll become a personal trainer. It's the same thing with cooking. Some people are just naturals at being able to cook. They could cook up a meal for anybody. But then there are those people who have such a great ability at it that they can go to cooking school and become a famous chef. So I think in any field... You have people who are good at what they could do naturally, and then they can be the people that become the teachers of said subject matter. So I think everybody's got intuition, and everybody should develop their intuition and trust their gut. They should use that to live an empowered life. i got two kids, one's 14 and one's 10. Both of them are highly psychic. They're not being trained to do readings. They're not being trained to take over the family business. They're, you know, they're, they're doing their own thing, and they're, they'll grow up to be their own people, but they're going to be intuitive no matter what they do. Because they've actually trained in that process is what That's you're correct. Saying, right? I want them to have an edge. You know, it's like my son said, oh, I made a new friend. I was like, you know, he's like started high school, and he's like, I made a new friend. I was like, did you get his birthday? He's like, no. I go, then you didn't make a new friend yet. I go, you get his birthday, and we'll decide if you made a new friend, because we're going to know who that person is. 
because we're going to know that based upon their birthday, we're going to know their astrology a little bit, we're going to know their numerology, and we'll get a window to see if this is going to be a good match for him. And not to say I don't want him to waste his time, but I also want him to know who he's dealing I want him to know who he's dealing with. So you could really, like, get an edge and get ahead. I'll never forget being in high school, and I walked into a teacher's room. She was doing... I think I might have gotten detention, just saying. And she was the person who was kind of like, you know, in charge of detention that day. And when I walked up to the sign-in sign to say I was there, I look at her attendance book, and she had her classes. And next to all the kids, she had all their astrological symbolism. Now, only somebody who knew what I knew at that time would know what that was. So I, like, looked at it, and then I, like, looked at her, and then she looked at me, and she went, do you know what that means? And I went, I do know what that means. And she goes, please don't tell anybody. And I went, I won't. I go, do you know astrology? And she goes, I do. I said, can I ask you what you're doing? She goes, well, I look at all the students' birthdays before the school starts, before the semester starts. She goes, and then I make sure that I sit the people who wouldn't get along next to each other to cut down the communication during the classes. And I just thought that was brilliant. That is brilliant. I hope you got out of detention for that. Um, I did. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. You know, I have to ask you, do you feel anything about me, any connection between us or anything around me? I, I don't, and I'll tell you why. When I'm doing readings, I'm in a different mindset. So it's kind of like when I'm doing interviews, I have to be, like, in one place. And I have a hard time when I'm doing readings putting coherent sentences together. So it's like I, I kind of keep myself in two different places, so I, I'm not open, I'm not really open to do readings when I'm doing back-to-back -back interviews like I'm doing today. And essentially, that's how we started this conversation, is that very thought that it, that it is the kind of thing that you have a place for everything in its place. Right. Yeah, okay, I, I get you, I understand completely. Gosh, it's just great fun talking to you. Oh, thank you. Why don't you, why don't you come to the event? Well, actually, the one that we've got tickets for, I can't come, but my wife is going to be there, and awesome. my daughter is going to be there, and they're incredibly excited about it. They're well, just... please make sure that they come up and they introduce themselves at the end of the event. I will absolutely have them do that, and thank you so much. We're almost out of time. Well, we've got about a minute left before we have to move on to your next interview. I, again, I just want to say thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Your insight has brought a lot to us. One quick question, if there were a place that people could go to maybe get a pattern to to increase their own intuitiveness, do you have a book like that? I actually do. I wrote a book called Infinite Quest, and Infinite Quest is the how to develop your psychic abilities not to do readings, but just in case you're not going to listen to me and try to do readings anyway book. It's that book. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite Quest. Now, I'm assuming that's available on your website, johnedward.net. It, you know what? I don't even. I don't. I should know that, right? But I don't. Well, um, I, it's available like on Amazon. People can grab it there. Infinite Quest is the name, and that will help you develop the muscles you need to understand to, the world of energy that you're living in. A hundred percent. Oh, how cool is that? Well, thank you so much. Thank Dan, you. We're about uh, forty seconds away from ending this one, so I want to take this time to say thank you so much for spending time with me. I know my wife and daughter are really excited about coming to see you in Madison, Wisconsin. And again, if you need that ticket information, go to John Edward. Net. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And Thank anytime you. you want to talk to me, I'm right here. Happy to talk to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.